Hi, so here's my ingredients for my uh, baklava filling. I have here four cups of uh, walnuts. I grind it in my food processor. So it's really up to you if you want to grind. I grind, I grind it a little bit fine, but you can uh, grind it just the way you want it. And these are things that are going into my um, uh, walnuts. I have uh, two tablespoons of sugar, and I have a uh, one, te one teaspoon of cinnamon powder and a one teaspoon of uh, cardamom. So it's this kind of this uh, ground uh, cardamom. And this are going to go into my um, walnuts. And I have a ta one uh, tablespoon of blossom water. It's very strong, so you don't put too much. Uh, the smell is also great and awesome, but it's just too strong. So I'm going to be adding uh, my powders to here and I'm going to add my uh, blossom water and then here's my phyllo dough. I use this kind of phyllo dough for my uh, wrapping and here I will also I will add, I don't have my butter ready yet but I'm going to have two tablespoons of margarine, that melted margarine or butter going to be also going in here. I'll show you what kind. And I'll mix it and it'll be ready to go um, for my uh, baklava. As I, I said, I have, I use this kind of butter. It's unsalted um, margarine. And I have melted it in the microwave. So I'm going to put, as I said, two tablespoons I'm going to put on my filling. So just like that and I will stir it. Okay, here I'm going to make a different uh, kind of uh, baklava. Well, basically the same thing, but just the sh cutting shapes is different. So I have three layers here. I'm going to put one more. So uh, we'll have uh, four layers. And same technique. Each uh, butter between each uh, layers. So I'm just going to butter the whole thing, just like that. And then I'm going to put my walnuts. Do it by hand. So I'm going to put my uh, walnuts uh, up to the middle area. So I don't want it to go all the way. I put in my walnuts, as you can see, and it's on a halfway. And now I'm going to start to roll. So as you are um, rolling, try to make it tight as possible. So just work on it like this, go from side to side, and make it tight. You know, sometimes it's hard to make it real tight, but do your best. So, so as you can see, it's a long, long thing. Now I'm going to cut it. Again, you can cut it any shapes you like, but this is one of the shapes I really like. So, I'm going to cut it this way. So just take the edge off. And this is going to this is going to go in my uh, dry pan as well. But I'm going to cut it like this so as you can see they're really nice shape and they're easy to pick it up when they're made and, and they don't fall off or anything like a diamond shape ones or square shape ones the shape is really nice and um, like you can you can cut it this way and make it a kind of triangle. You can cut that shape as well. But I like this, so I'm going to cut mine as well like that. And I have here my tray, uh, my baking tray. And uh, I oiled it, so I'm going to put, tray butted it. So I'm going to put uh, my baklava in like this. and I have to butter it and then it's going to go in the oven but I'll show you before I put it in the oven. Okay, yeah, my baklavas are done. That's how they look like. I even put even those little ones in there too and I buttered it. They're ready to go in the oven so they're going to be in, going to the oven same as the other one on 350 uh, degrees on the top of the stove 
in for about 20 to 25 minutes, but keep checking at it until they both sides get golden brown. I added the clover, they're done. As you can see, they're golden brown. And I'm also going to, uh, I just got it out of the oven. So I'm just gonna sear this too. Okay, that's how they look after I seared and I garnished it with a uh, pistachio and here they are. So here I'm gonna make another kind. This, I'm gonna use this as uh, it's thick, it's uh, not too thick, but then it's thick. And I have my baking sheet here. I mean my tray, sorry, my tray, uh, oven tray. So I buttered it. I'm gonna make this one to show you how I make it. And this is from my other package. Some other package come is very thin, so this one is very thin. I don't know if I can do this. I'll try to do it, but I'm gonna show you how to do this one. So my walnuts gonna go, and just like the other ones. So it's one sheet. I buttered it. And I'm going to put my walnut. So as you can see, I'm putting very little. You don't want to too much. And then I'm going to put my stick just uh, right here, just to have your hand, enough for your handle on the side. And you're just going to um, roll with it. So you're going to roll. butter like this or just leave it you can butter it at the end so what you do you hold it and hold your um, stick from both sides with your two fingers and you can adjust uh, squeeze like this so just squeeze it and then I have my baking and then it's enough to squeeze and then we'll take it out and then it's gonna sit in here so this one is put a little bit dry and I'm going to try another one. Stop here as you can touch. So I'm going to try this one. This is, um, it's more softer. And then you butter again. And we'll say butter the end because we don't put uh, our filling there. So I'm going to put my walnuts again. smaller than okay so this package of my uh, filo dough is very thin so I decided to put two so this one is two I just wanted to show you how it's gonna come out and look with two sheets because um, the ones we get from Superstore is only one sheet you can use it's thick enough I got this one from Safeway so I've never gotten from Safeway before but it's very thin so I would say don't get it from Safeway anymore. So um, just like this, and then we'll squeeze it. Just like that. It came out, it came out really nice. So this one is, I'm happy with this one. So that's how it's going to look. So I'm going to fill it up. I'll show you. Here's my other ones. Uh, the stick uh, back out. It's going to be a finger ones. But I'm not going to cut them until um, they get out of the oven. That's when I'm going to cut the fried sear of it. I'll show you. Here my uh, finger baklavas are done. And that's how they look. And I'm going to cut them with knife. You can cut it any size you like. So small, big. I'm going to cut them and put a syrup on and garnish it. And I'll show you. They're all I put syrup on and garnished it. And that's how I cut it. And they should taste great, very crunchy, very tasty. And that's our dessert. And I hope you enjoy making it and eating it. Uh, if you like it, uh, please don't forget to comment, like, or subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.